Okay, so what we're about to show you here is a modification I made using a headlamp for my T-Rex heli. It's going to be a very bright spot lamp landing, landing light. The, for the on and off switch, I used the old servo. Here, I'm just going to demonstrate with this one. What I did with the servo was take the little PCB board out of it, and the three wires that run down to the rheostat, I disconnected at the board and soldered the three wires that make up the rheostat together. The power leads for the LED lights are now being powered by the wires for the motor in the servo. So basically, I ended up with a little unit that looks like this, and that's just the PCB board inside heat shrink tube connected on a GST connector, which in turn I made a GST connector on the back of my landing light, which holds 12 LED lights. That in turn just connects directly to the uh, receiver. Now, when using this, I had switched it to channel 5. Now, when using it, you get a negative voltage and a positive voltage. So what I did was use the endpoint adjustment in the radio to drop down either the upper or lower, it doesn't matter, one or the other, whatever is on or whatever's off, back to zero. So when I throw the switch one way, it's not pushing a voltage. And when I throw it down, it'll be for voltage. And actually, I could get utilize the LED lights with a dimmer by using the endpoint adjustment and dropping the endpoint adjustment closer to zero as per se my switch down is landing light on, switch up, landing light off. And with lowering the uh, endpoint adjustment while the switch is down will decrease the voltage of the LEDs, decreasing the intensity of light. Now I'm just going to pause this here and be right Okay, I've connected the, my little unit up, connected it up, it's all wired up, and using the channel 5 switch, now it turns on a very intense light. Probably blind the camera, but there it is. And I've got this set on my endpoint adjustment running off channel 5 and you'll notice if I lower start lowering the endpoint I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, yep you notice the intensity of the light it's really dim and we can brighten her back up to super bright now my next test I'm going to run will be a line voltage draw for amps to see how many amps that this little lid is actually sucking.